I just wanted to uh, congratulate you on the um, CIA's decision, and, and uh, it took them long enough, huh? Messages from well-wishers are pouring in to the tribal chief of the federally recognized Mohegans. Chief Ralph Sturgis even showed off a letter from the Mashantucket Pequot Indians, who could be in for some real competition. The thing that we want for this whole area is economic stability and stability for people's lives. As we reported back in November, the chief promises that will happen without taking any land from private homeowners. Today, the developer released a preliminary design of the destination resort. It includes a casino, hotel, and theme park. If everything goes well, and uh, it has so far, that we should be able, 18 months would be something we'd be shooting for. This is where the Mohegans plan to build their casino and theme park. It's the old United Nuclear Corporation, and many people who live in this area feel this development could really help by bringing jobs and money to the region. Oh, I think it'll be good. They say it's going to put 4,000 people to work. And that's what we need, people working. I think it could be uh, get more jobs in, help people out right here. Economy's still down a little bit, even though this casino with the uh, Pequot engines. And the Mohegans' move could help out some of the businesses in the area, like the Norwich Inn. It struggled for a few years, and now things are looking up. There's going to be a whole new group of people coming to our area, which will help. Uh, it'll be another amenity for our guests to go, go to. So as the chief and developers move ahead with their plans, many in the region say this destination getaway will put Montville on the map and mean money to a financially troubled region. In Montville, Jane Saffer, Action News 8.